Hey guys, this is all stream that with the first episode of Farming Simulator 19 The Rancher. And this one is done on Peterville and it is on the medium difficulty. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the map here. So this is what the map for Peterville looks like. There are 44 fields, and there's the sawmill and the factory up at the top. And we already have uh, the pig farm is already on the map, and that's this one right here. Now we've got our biogas plant. And this right here is where we are. Uh, there's a house that we can save at and we have the chickens cows and sheep already set up as well and, and over here we have another farm that we can buy our shops are down there and right down here in the uh, southeast corner is the horses and this right here is uh, a full stable and not only a stable it also has uh, the equestrian ground and there's another forest here along with the one over here and our shop is right down here we've got the barn the spinnery and the animal dealer And we have a yard that's down here as well that we can use. Uh, we are going to buy this one first. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And we have $1,250,000 to spend. And this is $349,560. let us go ahead and buy that. So those are all ours. We have access to the cow pasture, the chicken coop, and the sheep. So now we are, we are going to need some equipment. Okay, we're going to buy uh, field 41. We're going to go ahead and buy that right now. And that does have something on there for us. Okay, that has barley. It is not ready yet it's not fertilized it's not weeded so that is going to be for the chickens and then we're gonna buy field 28 as well and that will get us uh, all of the grass that's in that field which we can use to feed the sheep and we can also use that to help feed the cows and we can make some hay for the cows and we can also make some silage from there for the cows so that can basically be all of the cow and sheep food all from one field um, later on I'm probably gonna buy field 8 as well that way we can make sure that we have enough food for all of them and then when the barley comes in the barley will go for the chickens for their food I think they can eat barley so that should be, with those two fields, that should be enough for all of the food. And we are right now going to go ahead and we're going to buy some sheep. But first we're going to buy some mowers. So we are going to buy the Pottinger Novacat 301 ED. That's the one that we have in the contractor. Um, the reason I'm going to buy that one is simply because... For the price, it is quite possibly the best. Um, as time goes on, we're going to need to do it quicker. And I will at that point buy the, uh, the Lily Splendimos. So let's go ahead and buy the Pottinger Novacat 301. And let's go ahead and I think what we're going to do on this one is we are going to be using John Deere. So this will be 
pretty much a John Deere farm. Uh, we'll use others when we have to. But John Deere is going to be the main the main thing for this. So let's go ahead and go into the customization. We're going to go standard for that. Uh, the whoop. And let's go ahead and just do standard. Uh, the engine setup, uh, we'll do regular. And we do want the front loader attachment. And that is 142 horsepower. So we don't need the front loader just yet. However, even though we don't need it yet, we're going to go ahead and buy it. Alright, so let's go ahead. Um, we're going to back this up. And we're going to see if that'll fit. I think it will. And it does. To change the color... because we're using John Deere we want our stuff to match and there we go it's a stole but it's in John Deere green and so with this we can that we'll be good to go with that and these are now ready to go so let's go back to the yard with these and we can start mowing <coughs> so we're gonna start off with sheep I think that's what we're going to do in this episode, is we're going to get the sheep all set up and ready to go. Um, I've played this map a couple of times. One of the things I've noticed is uh, sometimes the cars that are on the road like to... Uh, they like to wobble. Like that. So that's something that I'm very wary of. I'm aware that they do that. Um, I've had them come across the line and hit me uh, like twice, I think. So, always a little more careful. That's one of the things with modded maps is you have to look out for stuff like that. Um, this right here is an extra yard that we can buy. So, and having played this map, um, I've already taken a look at most of these things. Um, there are things on the map like these bales that we can't do anything with. They're just there. They're not for us. We can't do anything with them. We can't uh, pick them up and move them. They're just there. And then there's uh, stuff like these tires. We can always move the tires. And as far as I'm aware, we can't move these. But that's not ours, so let's go ahead and close the doors so we don't own this yard. And I don't think we can close these gates. It would be nice if we could, but we can't. So this needs to go 
up here a little bit further. Um, we did not open the gate yet to our yard. And I've been waiting for this map to come out. Um, one of the things that I like about it is you get manure from cows and pigs um, like you always do. But what I like about this map is it doesn't appear to, or it, it doesn't um, all go to the same spot. So this right here is for the cows. Uh, we'll put our, we'll put all the food stuff in here. And the water goes right here. We'll put straw in, and the straw goes in here. And this is where all the manure shows up. So you actually have to muck it out yourself, which I like. Um, but then there's no place to put it. So you have to find your own spot for it. And I don't know where I want to put it. That So I have to figure that out um, before we get too far into the cows, which will be just a couple episodes away, I think. We can't put it in these. Uh, these are for silage. They're silage bunkers. I tried that um, when I was just kind of messing around and getting used to the map. This right here is our workshop. Let's close that door. This right here I like because there's that small door there along with the two big garage doors. This right here is going to be good for storage. Uh, we're going to be putting probably a lot of the um, a lot of the grass in here for these guys. Uh, this is where the sheep are going to be. So right now, let's go ahead. Um, we have field 28. So let's see if there is a easy way to get to field 28. Maybe through here. That's a no. Uh, we might be putting a gate in. That's the field back there. Uh, we just need to find the entrance. And we don't need the forks yet. So let's whoop, take these. This is going to be one of our main storage points. Attach that. Okay, let's detach that and put that on the front. <coughs> oh no. Well, I should have taken a look at that before. Okay. So, that can't go on the front. It can go on the back, but it can't go on the front. So let's go through here. There's nothing in here yet and oh this is field 28 okay so this is where the cow or where the sheep are going to be
And actually, this is field 28 as well. Okay. I just got lost. So this is where we're going to mow then. So let's go ahead, we're going to start mowing. We should be able to go around this whole plot here. Okay, so I'm going to time-lapse the mowing, and I will see you when we are ready to go and do something else here. I think I'm only going to go around uh, maybe twice, and maybe not even that. Um, I may just go around once. So let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a time-lapse then. So let's put that right about there, turn it off, lift it, and fold it. So I guess I really didn't need to close that gate. I don't really need to close it right now anyway, because we do not have any sheep yet so there is nothing in this field uh, this part of field 28 is empty right now so we really don't need to shut any of these at this point um, let's move that in Okay, and there we go. So this is going to go back down to the store and I'm going to pick up a baler and we need to make sure we're going the right way here. We don't want to go through the through the cow building. <coughs> and there we go and there's a lot of storage here too. So there's a lot of place to put things. Um, so we're going to be doing the sheep this episode. We're going to be doing the cows maybe the next episode. Or we may do the preparation for the cows in the next episode. And we might also get chickens today. Um, we will see... How close our field is to getting done uh, our barley field um, but we'll definitely see what happens and I am probably going to get another tractor today one that has a front three-point linkage that way we can actually do the mowing the right way with the mower on the front and then we can throw the baler on the back of that one and do it all at once and for the baler we are going to be getting the new holland roll belt 150 and that will produce round bales
and we can actually set up different wheels uh, standard and wide we're just going to do standard and that is all we can change we can't change the color on it and we're going to take this home and we're going to do the bailing and then we are going to take uh, all the bales that we have at the end of that and we're going to put them over by the sheep and then we're going to buy I think we're gonna start off with 10 sheep I think that's how I'm gonna do it is just start off with uh, with 10 and when they're happy they will reproduce and then we will get more sheep which means more wool um, I'm gonna do the same thing with cows and with pigs and I may do the same thing with chickens I may get extra chickens I may get like 15 or 20 so we will cross that bridge when we get there go and let's lower the pickup and turn it on okay we missed a little bit there We may have to come back and grab some of the small little bits that we miss. If we do, that's fine. And I don't think we're going to quite get two bales off of what we've already done. But if we can get one bale, which we've just done, let's unload that, then that will be fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to come back and get a few of the little bits that we're missing. But we're going to have a few bales of grass for the sheep. So it looks like we're going to get two. We're not going to get three, but we're definitely getting two. Go. and we're going to make one more pass here and get all the little bits that we've missed and we just missed another one back there A lot of the stuff that we missed was just on corners. There we go. That's one good thing about having lights is you can kind of see in the shadows a little bit. Okay, so it was picking it up. It was just such minuscule amounts that it wasn't registering. That's fine. We're going to have right around 30% full on this. And 
there's that little bit right there there we go okay so let's with that turn it off we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the baler away Okay, and this is not going to be the permanent home for any of this. So once we can buy that little yard, um, once we can buy that little yard, that's probably where all of this stuff is going to go, all of the, uh, stuff for the grass maybe even just all the uh, grass and bale stuff let's grab this one over here first go and then we can see about getting this on there as well So I know it can be done, I've done it before. Okay, there we go, now we can take a little bit of a run. Get it lined up. I know it can be done. There we go. So now we have two bales of grass and a third one in the works that's in the baler. And there we go. So now, I think the trigger is right here, and it is. And let's do a black and a brown for a total of, uh, with the, yes, with the uh, transport fee, it's $1,000. So let's confirm. And now we have sheep. So now that we have sheep, um, now that we have sheep, we want to mind our gates. So we're going to be keeping these closed. That way they can't get out. And let's go ahead and go through here. This right here is where their water is going to be. So 
a few entrances for them. Uh, this can open. But we're going to keep that closed as much as possible. Okay, so now that we have our sheep, they need to eat. And there's our sheep. So they have... Okay, they are full on food. Uh, they take grass and or hay. Um, any mixture. Um, right now all they have is grass and they're fine with that. If all we had was hay, then they would work with that. Uh, so now we need some water. And we're also going to need a scoop. So that way we can clean that area up for the food. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right inside here. And we're just going to drop the bale forks. We're going to keep we're going to keep the front loader frame on. And we're going to go down. We're going to buy a water transporter. And we're going to buy a scoop. And we are going to buy the Joskins Aqua Trans 7300S. And the reason we're buying that one is because it is a two-wheeled uh, single um, solid tow bar. Easier to back up. I don't like anything with the dolly, so as long as I can get stuff... Uh, without the dolly and without the uh, um, without the moving tow bar, I'm fine. And that will hold 7,300 liters of water, and that only holds water. You cannot put milk in there, so we are definitely going to be needing a second a second uh, trans transporter. And the one we will probably get at the beginning is the MKS-8. Uh, the MKS-32 we might get at a later date. And then we need a scoop and we're going to do the universal bucket which will be for food. And, oh, and we don't want to buy that yet. We want to change the color to John Deere green. So when we get our second bucket for manure for the cows it will likely be red or black and that will distinguish which one is for food and which one is for manure because we don't want to use the same for both and there we go now we need to fill this up with water Wow. Okay. Uh, we've got a boat out here. So we can't use that. Uh, and there's some barrels over there. Uh, just sitting in the water. That can't be... That can't be good. Um, so we back it in just a little bit. And we start filling. We're going to get that all the way full. And there we go, that is completely full. So let's uh, actually get out right here. And let's walk across to the farm. So this right here is a little farm area. Uh, these are two separate, or no, they're not. I'm thinking of a different one. But yeah, I mean, this, um, actually, with where this is, uh, the forest is right across the, uh, the road. So this is probably a good place 
to keep all of the farm equipment, or to keep all of the forestry equipment. None of this stuff we can pick up. We can't pick up those potato things. I've tried. We can't attach to that. I've tried. Um, we do have a couple of small areas back here. Um, what I may try to do once we get manure is I may try and see if we can fit it in there. If we can, then that might be a good storage spot. But yeah, I mean, there is a lot of storage over here. So this is another one that has a little door in the middle. And if we have, like, a lot of potatoes and uh, sugar beets, we can use this as separate storage. So, I mean, there, there's a lot we can do here. It's really just a matter of, um, it's just a matter of where we're at. So, there's a lot of room here. And we actually could have bought this real cheap right out front. Uh, but I want to get those sheep and cows rolling. So let's go ahead and get this back to the farm so we can give the water to the sheep. And this is going to be a weekly, a, a weekly series. This is going to be every Thursday I will try to get this out as close to 6 p.m. Pacific as possible as there will be no wrestling on Thursdays. Wrestling will be Tuesdays and Saturdays and the reason for that is because it's going to take a lot of planning for the uh, for the wrestling and I think trying to get three episodes of that out every week is going to be difficult getting two out will be a little bit easier um, it'll still be kind of difficult but uh, it'll be more workable and with farming simulator it's easy to plan and the edit is a lot easier there's going to be edits with the wrestling um, I've already got it recorded. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to present it. And I am actually recording this on the day that it is going out. So um, that just shows how quick and easy the edit for this is. And I just got done recording the wrestling one. And I'm just not quite sure how I want to present it. Um, the recording itself is easy. It's just finding the right presentation, and I don't want to. I don't want to start it and then have to change and switch it up. You know, I want the same like production thing the whole way through. So, um, I'm gonna figure that out tonight. I'm gonna do the edit tomorrow, and it will upload on Saturday and go live on Saturday, and that will be every Saturday and Tuesday for wrestling and that will be as close to four o'clock as I can get it and right now we are back at the farm we have our water for the sheep we have our bucket to clean them up the water goes right back there so we can do this one of two ways we could open up that rusty gate there and go through but we are going to open this up. And we're going to go through this gate. We're going to see how much of the water they take. There we go see the trough is filling up and it looks like they took about 28% so it's down to 
I don't really need to fill it. That should be enough for the cows. There we go. So because this is going to go to the cows next, I am thinking that if I take this, we're just going to back it right in here. There we go. That area right there is where the milk is going to come out. And there we go. Let's back that in. drop that off and well, there was no trigger there because we have no sheep yet or no we have no cows yet so that will be next episode and if you've seen the contractor you know that we already have sheep over there very easy to take care of now that they have their food and their water the only thing that we really need to do is make sure that they are clean it looks like they've already made a little bit of a mess not a lot there we go And that little area right there is where the wool is going to come out. And there's all our sheep. We've got 10 of them. 99% uh, productive, 97% clean. They have 1,997 liters of water. They have 4,971 liters of grass. And... The reproduction rate is 480 hours. So every 480 hours, we will get a new sheep. Um, it looks like... That's interesting. It looks like the brown and the black sheep are at 320 hours. And the black and whites and the whites are at 480 hours. So I think... It's every 480 hours I'm going to get a white and a black and a white. And then every 320 hours I get a brown and a black. So the reproduction rates I guess are different. Depending on the color. So we're going to be getting quite a few sheep. And that's fine. I'm happy with that. And we do have a couple of transporting contracts, but because this is not the contractor, we're not going to focus on contracting. Most of our money is going to come from uh, taking care of our animals. So it's going to come from selling the sheep, selling the milk, uh, maybe selling manure and slurry, and selling eggs. And speaking of which, let's take a quick ride over to over to the house. Let's go ahead and close this up real quick. There we go. 
So everything here is closed. Um, I haven't opened that building yet, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of storage here, so... We're going to park this right here. Okay, let's make sure that gate is closed, and it is. And let's take a look at our barley field. And it is still growing. And we have a little basketball hoop right here. Look at that first shot and I made it. So uh, that's going to end it for today's episode. A little shed there. And uh, in the next episode we're going to get... Uh, probably going to start the harvest on this it looks like a fairly good sized field and we're going to use the barley to feed the chickens that we're going to get and we're going to start preparing for sheep and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go back and we're going to mow the rest of the field that we did a little bit on today which is this one right back here. We're going to mow all of it and we're going to wrap some of it for silage. We're going to keep grass for some of it. And we're going to ted the rest for some hay. And the barley that's over in in our in our field uh, when that is done uh, the barley itself is going to feed the chickens and then we're going to have some straw and the straw will be bedding for the cows so that way they can produce uh, produce manure and that will be a natural fertilizer so we will not need to buy any fertilizer for our field hopefully uh, we can use that and the slurry that they are going to produce and hopefully they produce a lot so the more they produce the better it's going to be and we can't pick that up so yeah I mean they're they're going to be producing a lot of things that we're going to need and a lot um, we won't need to buy any fertilizer hopefully for the whole series we can just rely on them and the pigs for manure and slurry and that is going to end it for today's episode I want to thank everybody for watching my name is all stream that hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications